The scenic Bellevue neighborhood has a complicated relationship with its namesake. At least twice in 11 years, the Harpeth River rose so high it flooded most of the homes in Harpeth Crest, even trapping people in 2010. Up to about three houses behind me, uh, it was underwater. HOA President Devin Schultz was here for the flood. He's learned a lot about his neighborhood over time. Like that when the neighborhood was built in the early 2000s, so was this greenway along Morton Mill Road. He told me that while the path seems to end abruptly, that was on purpose. At the end of the path, there's a stormwater detention system, complete with a 360-foot drainage channel that Metro required. We aren't allowed to put anything here, and they aren't allowed to put anything there, and now they're seeking to change, change that. On the other side of this tree line and these train tracks, a Houston-based developer now wants to build 417 apartments. Part of the plan includes extending the greenway into the new neighborhood, which would disturb the floodway. As these signs state, this part of the Ariza Bellevue project is going before the Metro Stormwater Commission on Thursday. This will be the first time in more than a year that the project is going before Metro officials. Well, we're running out of chances to call the, the, uh, the developers, uh, you know, to task. To, to demonstrate once again the things that they've, that they've proposed that are actually not true or against what they had said that they, that they would do. Steve Sosha lives downstream of the proposed site. He's lived there for 25 years. A lot of the projects along this river that have done something similar have increased the water level coming up in the Harpeth on my property right next door. Schultz says Thursday's decision could potentially affect hundreds of people. This is not to be taken lightly. This is a serious concern for the neighborhood and the community at large. Um, it's an extremely sensitive area and uh, tinkering or toying with it is, is ill-advised. In Bellevue, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.